Welcome back everybody and in this tutorial we will cover some of the network settings uh, where we will be changing our IP address. Now, as we saw in the previous tutorial, if we type ifconfig you will notice that we get this IP address which probably does not belong to your local network. As you can see right here if I open the command prompt from Windows and run the ipconfig command, so ipconfig you will notice that my IP address is 192.168.1.3 so you can see that it doesn't even start the same as the IP address of this command. Now we want to make sure that this uh, the, the, that the Kali machine gets the same IP address I, well not the same IP address but the same start of the IP address and how do we do that? Well basically just go on machine then settings once you go there scroll down to the network and you will notice that right now it is attached to NAT. I believe this is set by default and NAT is basically net network address translations. So you want to go on the advanced and check if the cable is connected. So if this is unchecked check it but I believe it is cable connected as default and here you want to go to the bridge adapter not NAT, but bridge adapter and pick your interface, network interface. Now, my network interface that I use is, is basically the first one right here. For you it might be named differently, well not might, it probably is named differently. And you want to pick the one you want to use. Uh, for example, if you want to use a wireless interface, a wireless network card, you can just plug it in. Let me just show you for one second. Here I have my wireless card and I will plug it in in order to show you how to pick your wireless network interface. Right here it should be plugged in and if we scroll right here, let me just close and reopen this. So if we go to the machine settings and once again a network, we should have four right now. You remember we had these three and the wireless LAN network adapter was not here. Now. Once you click on the wireless network adapter, there is a possibility that it won't be supported by Cal Linux. For example, uh, I don't think it is, so if I click here OK, and right now if I reboot my machine, which I won't do, my wireless card will not work. I won't be able to connect to the Wi-Fi. Now, yours might work, so you want to try that, but in my case, this one doesn't work for me. So I just connect on my PC or cable and make sure once again that the cable is connected and you just click here OK. Once you pick bridge adapter and once you pick the network interface you want to use, click here OK. Now if we type here I have config once again you will notice that now our IP address has changed. It's not anymore, it doesn't anymore start with 10.0.2, it starts with 192.168.1.5 and it basically now belongs to our local network IP range. As you can see it's here is dot five and here is dot three. We can check by pinging 192.168.1.3 and you can see that we will receive packets from our Windows machine which means we are on the local network. We can also ping google.com in order to check that and this will take a few more seconds because our Windows machine is much closer than google.com and basically this is a virtual machine, it is a little slower, but in a few seconds we should be receiving the packets from Google. Here we go, we got the Google's IP address and right now we should start receiving the packets. Here they are, as you can see we received four packets from Google, so basically this means we are able to connect to the internet. So. That's about it. We just wanted to set our IP address correctly in order to continue doing some of the other stuff. So this was rather a short tutorial. In the next one I will show you, for those who are interested, how to burn an ISO Cal Linux image in onto the USB drive. For those who want to install it directly on their main PC, they will need to burn the operating system onto the USB drive. So I hope I see you in the next tutorial and take care.